Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my Small Dilutions Use It Up journal. Um, I've got halfway in this journal so I just wanted to show you what it was so far. So I like my large Dilutions journal, I've covered it with printables from Little Raven Ink, <clears throat> just done onto sticker paper. You can see it's a little bit worn and, and falling apart but it's a beautiful pop of colour which I love picking up this journal. So I started this journal on the 18th of the 6th this year, so it's been about five months to, to get where I am today. And here we go. So my Use It Up journal, if you haven't come across one before, is where I put my extra paint, try out products, just basically make a mess in it. And when I'm looking for a quick um, art journaling go, this is where I tend to go to. So that's exactly what happened in the background. I, had, I was using Brayer. Um, so I had some inks in the background, I had some new stamp uh, stencils that I was checking out and trying out some new stamps and I just put them together in a really quick page. Um, <clears throat> this is using one of the Dina Wakely large collage faces which I really like um, using, particularly my used up journal because they are translucent when you glue them down. So if you've got a really busy background or if you've got something you're really not sure how you're going to use it by putting one of these over as a focal image you can sort of see what's happening on the background but it still um, gives you a bit of a focus. Um, this page is actually an interactive page I did for my uh, 100 days of art journaling project so this is the actual page. This was inspired by James Leap Burke Creative um, after seeing a video that he did of this page and any videos I've got um, of pages like this I will link in the description box below. But you can see it makes um, little Tinkerbell pop out of the page. So it's just a fun little thing to do um, and I really enjoy doing it. Something different from what I usually do. Uh, this is inspired again by James Leake, but created from his Playtest 2 Patreon. Um, I can't stand it. I did a really bad job in it. I think kids were awake and I didn't spend much time in it. So I will go over this page at one stage, but it is what it is. This page was using some gel prints that I had. Um, I was doing the September gel print challenge and one of my challenges to myself was to actually put my gel prints into my journals because I don't tend to do that. I end up with a lot of collage pages but I don't tend to use them. Uh, this is a good example of how I use my used up journal because you can see in the background I had red paint left over from something so I painted that down, I had some turquoise painted over so I've just painted it into the background um, and left it there. I got two new stencils, the Dina Wakely stencils that I've been practicing putting onto these pages and that has sat in my journal for a long while so again I went back to the collage pages and stuck them over. Now surprisingly this face is actually the one face but by switching over the the sides of the face it makes it look like two completely different ones which is it's a quite odd illusion when you when you do it this page um i've got a sample of or i've got a video on my youtube channel which i'll link above and it's um called how i swatch and basically this is why I use my used up journal. I had some black and some dark parts in this journal and I got a whole heap of um, Jane Davenport, uh, I don't know what you call it, liquid velvet pastels, these things, um, and some of her paint pens that came and I just wanted to test them out. And the reason I use my used up journal to swatch and to test out is because I have got dark pieces and I've got light pieces and I can see the opacity of um, the materials. Because I am a mixed media artist I like to see how things work over the top of each other so I like to see that those um, velvet pastels will work over the top of acrylic paint, that chalk pastels will work over the top of them, that um, a permanent marker will work over the top of them. So it gives me a really good way to just test out and play with my materials without um, being precious about it I suppose because this is a messy page anyway and if I really hated it I could paint over it but I actually really liked how it ended up. This page um, again was inspired by James Luke Burke Creative by PCD on his Patreon 
um, Patreon site um, this year, not last year. Uh, just using some reflective foils and so on. This is one of his printables. And it, the thing that inspired me about it was just the way he applied the paint in the background. It was a really great way to use up some paints I had. They're not mixed together. Um, it gave me a beautiful background, so it was it was fun to play with. He also has made me think about how I write, and um, I've been really enjoying doing that really sort of neat block writing, I suppose. This is another page using some um, gel prints that I've been doing during that channel. This page was done um, for my um, Scrap FX design team projects. So we've got these beautiful silhouettes um, to put in. And again, that's a really quick page. I had the pink in the background. I put over some of the Tim Holtz collage papers, stuck this silhouette onto some vintage book paper, stuck it down. Oh, I did some stenciling, sorry, and then colored a piece of chipboard. It took me about 15 minutes, I think, to put together. Um, so particularly when I'm very time poor with two small toddlers, Sometimes I just don't have an hour or two hours to sit down and create. I need that just quick burst of something to do. So this book is really handy. It's a great size, but I've got pages that are sort of pre-prepared that I can go and attack. This page was done again using some of the gel prints I had and um, the theme was autumn or fall. And I decided to actually use my gel prints to create a picture. So I just cut them into really random shapes and made them into lollipop trees. This page was inspired by the wonderful Lisa Oxley, who goes by Scrap Witch Lisa for the um, Life Book, Free Life Book Summit for 2019, which is now unfortunately closed. But if you are part of the Life Book program for 2020, um, you do have access to this class which is amazing she's someone who i really admire and how she used her white space and i was just so pleased when i actually finished it that it kind of resembled what she'd done so this page was done in a class for tracy scott when we were doing some paper cutting um i had some extra time and again i had excess paint left over on my board instead of wasting it i put it into my book my book and then did this paper cutting um, this is using one of her stencils to, to cut out around and then I like just having the word bloom at the top. I really like putting text into my lace cut pages. This is actually the one and only time you'll see me swatching something out. Um, I During that class I'd never used the paper artsy paints before. Uh, I would had actually waited until I went to the class so I could have a play with them first to see if I liked them. Obviously I really did um, and I bought a whole heap the first day of my class, swatched them out here and when I went back the next day I may have added a few more to the list so I could check it off. Um, I finger painted these on and with my dirty finger just spread the colour in the background which I actually really liked and then did some stamping with the Tracy Scott stamps in the background and put a little bit of um, the Dina Wakeley tissue on the background and I just love this. I need a huge amount of art supplies which kind of summed up that page really. This is another page, one of the other classes I did which is Fancy Faces with Tracy and the lovely Tracy signed my book so that's very special. This page again you can see is a whole jumble in the background um i can't even remember what was there first i think i'd sort of been testing out some pens and all sorts in the background but um i used the printables from little raven ink um on it and this was a great page because I, I particularly love using her images when i'm feeling um, strong emotions that I can't really put into my own words and they they tend to I suppose center me or focus my thinking so I know what's bothering me and the quote sort of tied in with that sometimes you don't realize you're actually drowning when you are trying to be everyone else's anchor 
This page, again, was sort of inspired by the paper cutting I did with the um, Tracy Scott class. I had been doing a lot of um, turquoise and red pages in my large journal and had some paint left over. So I ended up doing these monochromatic pages and then just cutting through so you could see the next page. So this page, instead of having it loose like this one, I've actually just glued them together so you just see the contrast. This is another page inspired by the class I did. Um, using some stencils from Scrap FX and doing some journaling in the background. And again, just like this page, I glued that down. No rhyme or reason to why I do that. Um, sometimes I like them loose, sometimes I like to have them glued down. This is a really good example of the Use It Up journal. This was just old paint that I had left over. I was doing a whole heap of stenciling on something and just every time I had extra paint I stenciled into this page as well um, and just until I was happy with it so I just kept stenciling over it until I, I really liked what I had and then this little piece was torn out of the Dina Wakely Collage Collective. This page um, I will be having coming up on my YouTube channel soon. Um, again I don't know if you can actually see but under this um, all this doodling you can see there's some blue there some green there's a little bit of yellow under here. I got some new thick paint pens. Oops. So these are the Posca thick paint pens. So I was just priming them up on this page and had big things of colour. It was actually a black page to begin with because I had some excess black paint on it. And one night I got these stamps and I just decided I'd do something to cover it over. So you can see most of that doodling in the background or the, the priming of that pen has been sort of relegated to the background but it just gives you some interesting splashes of colour. Uh, this page uh, is really really simple. I don't know if I like it or not but um, it, again the use it up thing I had all this black paint and while I was doing this page um, I used this stencil on it which I really liked. I had some white paint left so I stenciled over it. And I really liked the stenciling on this page and I had this patch of colour which I couldn't work out what I was going to do so again I just went back to the, the collage faces and stuck it down. I wish now I hadn't put the quote over it because it sort of blends into the background so I'm going to need to think about how that all works out. This is another fairly simple page. Um, and I was using up the rest of my yellow paint. I finished off a bottle of paint so it was all scrubbed onto my page and I had some um, turquoise put down. Sometimes the colours work really well together, sometimes they don't. It's just a, sort of a mix. This one sort of blended together and the fact I could transfer some more yellow onto this page with the stamping and a little bit of paint in the, the figure um, sort of made it work together. This page is also going to be coming up on my YouTube channel soon um, and this is all about journaling big emotions so um, yeah please ignore the, the word in the background it was a really bad day um, summed up very much what I was doing in actual fact there's a whole heap of journaling on that page which you can't really see because I've sort of covered it over with other stuff but it was a really great way to get how I was really feeling down on the page and then um, doing some artwork over the top this page I was playing around with just um, doing my usual collage in the background. I didn't have many ideas this day, I just wanted to do something and I just went back to the basics of you know putting down some collage papers, putting some watercolour over the top for a bit of colour, doing some mic making and then putting a focal image over the top. So the focal image I instead of cutting something out of a magazine for a change I actually chose to draw over the top which I really liked and again this is a bit of an experiment because I wasn't sure if um, using colour pencil over the top of collage and watercolour paints was actually going to work so by doing it in this I've got a bit more freedom and a bit more it doesn't matter if it doesn't work. This page was created after again using up the I was trying out a new colour scheme in my larger um, dil ah, dilutions journal of the marine sky and tangerine and had paint left over so I scrubbed it into this book and again put in some collage images and some extra journaling to match what was on here. You're brave and strong and broken but you have heart and soul. 
just sort of tied together. Uh, this page I did for a scrap FX um, project. Again, this background was very much a use it up. It was just I had lots of paint left over. Instead of putting it on with a sponge, I just put it on with a paintbrush. So I've actually got sort of these more square marks in the background, almost like this page. Sort of applied the paint in the same way as this page. Um, put down some masks and just painted it over it black. This page is actually already black, so I um, kind of worked together. And it just, they've got that whole purpose driven warrior prints, it's changed the world type of vibe because they just look like very strong figures sort of standing out. So, again, this page um, took me about 15 minutes because I already had the paint in the background. I just added some stamping and I just used one stamp to do that, put the mask down, painted over it black and then just did some outlining with white paint. So it was a really quick page, but I was really happy with how it turned out. These are the last two pages in my Use It Up journal. Uh, this page is a, another black one. I've been doing a lot of masking and stuff, so I have a lot of black paint left over, which has been going into my book. Um, this one was inspired by the James Luke Burke Creative Free Mixed Media, Merry Mixed Media course that he's offering at the moment. So if you haven't checked that out, please do, because there's some beautiful stuff in it. Um, and this is just playing around with some stamps and some acrylic paints, some colour pencils and so on, just having a go to make a funky Christmas tree. This page was done with the contents of the Creator Box, again from James Luke Burke Creative. He um, got together four other artists and they created their own products. So um, there's stamps by Inky Quill, Adele Toomey from Australia. Um, this washi sticker in the background is from Ali Brown. There's some washi tape from Job's Journey. Um, and this picture is from a documented journey, um, Brie someone. Uh, so I, I just sort of added these on. The black in the background, the blue in the background was already on this page. I had some white paint or white acrylic paint on a fan brush that was sort of splattered onto the background as well. Again, this page has been sitting in my journal for a long time. So it was just a really quick way to play with some new stuff. And put it down on the page um, with not having to worry about doing a background as well. So, oops, um, yeah, I didn't, I forgot I had this page. Uh, this is a brilliant example of what I mean by a use it up page because I haven't actually used it up yet. So, when I was doing gel printing, you can see I've brayed off some stuff. I had a stamp that I um, stamped off some extra paint on it. So, I'll come up with something for that page. This is an example of what I did sort of the same on this page and I've just put some collage over the top of it so um, I really recommend if you're into art journaling that you have a little journal like this that you can put all your extra paint collage bits and pieces anything you've got that you don't need to think about you can do your swatching you can try out new supplies in this book and then you've got ready-made pages that may look like a hot mess but even if I paint it all over that black um, it doesn't matter because it's still going to be used. If I put a mask over that and paint it over it black, I've got some really interesting stuff already happening within that mask um, that I could do something cool with. So um, I would highly recommend that you um, have a think about having a little journal like this that you can sort of pull out and chuck your extra paint into. Thank you so much to, for watching and until next time, bye for now.